welcome back to the lecture series on heat transfer operation this is yogesh lange in this video we will learn the convective heat transfer correlation for external flow now in the last video we learn about the convective heat transfer correlation for internal flow now this is for the external flow the correlation for the internal flow and for the external flow are different though there is a the fluid flow and the convection uh, convective heat transfer for the force and the heat is transferred by the force convection but the correlations are different so let's see on which uh, parameter it is uh, the convective heat transfer correlations are given so we are dividing the the external flow on the basis of what is the geometry and on the basis of the flow pattern what is the geometry and the flow pattern now when we are dividing the geometry uh, the uh, uh, the flow pat uh, geometry it is a flat plate it may be the the cross uh, flow across the cylinder the fluid flow across the sphere and flow across the tube bag so the fluid may be flow through on the flat surface it may be the flow on the cylinder it may flow on the sphere or on the across the tube bag and on the basis of the flow pattern it is the convective heat transfer over a surface for a turbulent flow and for the laminar flow so the one on the basis of the geometry and one on the basis of the flow pattern let's see what are the various correlations are there now first we are dealing with the parallel flow over a flat plate the parallel flow over a flat plate so here we are considering a parallel flow of a fluid over a flat plate of a length l a flat plate having a length l and the fluid is flowing on the plate the x coordinate is measured along the plate surface from the leading edge in the direction of the flow the fluid approaches for a plate in x direction with a uniform velocity and the temperature with having the uniform velocity and at a same temperature so initially when the fluid it is start from this zero point so at a certain distance the fluid it is uh, given as a laminar flow and then it from the laminar it, it changed to the turbulent flow and the flow which is changed from laminar to the turbulent at what point at a critical distance okay and this is is called x suffix cr this is a critical distance so where from this one it change from laminar to turbulent subject to condition uh, the length of the plate should be a uh, higher in length now we are here considering for the average heat transfer coefficient for flat plate now for this case what is the 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 average heat transfer coefficient but to calculate uh, the heat transfer coefficient and with the help of the correlations we know that this correlations is related to the reynolds number and the prandtl number now the prandtl number it is related to the properties of the fluid because it having the term of cp specific heat viscosity and the conductivity of the fluid and the reynolds number this is it having the d into the u rho by mu where d here we are considering what is the length and where we have to find the flow at that point we are taking the that distance okay and the velocity as velocity is the constant in this case now when we are categorizing the fluid on the basis of whether it is a turbulent flow or the laminar flow uh, obviously it is depend on what is the roughness of the flat plate what is the velocity 
what is the surface geometry of the 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 surface and this Reynolds number but mostly it is possible for us to calculate the Reynolds number and from that one we can easily and distinguish whether the lamina or it is a turbulent one so here we consider we take the Reynolds number at a distance x suppose where we want to calculate the Reynolds number on this plate at a distance x from the leading edge of the plate and what is the formula for this one the Reynolds number is equal to the rho is the density of the fluid which is flowing on the plate u is the velocity of the plate and x is the distance upon mu so in the internal flow we are taking that is d and now here we are taking as x we are considering the distance of traveling the fluid so the Reynolds number varies various for a plate along the flow so at the end of the plate a Reynolds number is if this is at a distance x now if you want to calculate what is the Reynolds number at a distance l because the plate length is l and for this case we can write it is rho u into l upon mu now the heat transfer correlation over all over the flat plate now we are in the last slide we see about the the at a, at a distance now what if it is an overall flat plate now let's consider the local nested number at location x for laminar flow and for the turbulent flow over a flat plate now the correlations for the laminar flow and the correlation for the turbulent flow are different now what we consider we are considering the nested number at a location x and we are first try to get for the laminar flow and we have the correlation is nacelle number is equals to the at distance x that's why it is given a new suffix x equals to the 0.332 re raised to the power 0.5 parental number raised to the power 1 by 3 and the condition is given when the parental number is greater than 0.6 and the Reynolds number is less than 5 into 10 to the power 5 that time we you choose this one and if it is for a turbulent flow the correlation is nested number is equals to the 0 0.0296 re raised to the power 0.8 parental number raised to the power 1 by 3 and the condition is mentioned as it is point parental number should be greater than 0 0.6 and it should be less than 60 and the Reynolds number should be between the 5 into 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 7. Now for the flat plate at a distance L, the entire flat plate if we consider then we have the correlation for laminar flow it is Nusselt number at a distance L is equal to 0.664 Reynolds number raised to the power 5 parental number raised to the power 1 by 3 and this is the condition parental number is greater than 0.6 and Reynolds number greater less than 5 into 10 to the power 5 and for the turbulent flow it is Nusselt number equals to the 0 0.037 Reynolds number raised to the power 0.8 parental number raised to the power 1 by 3 and the condition is the same the parental number is greater than 0.6 less than 60 and the Reynolds number should be between 5 into 10 to the power 5 to the 10 to the power 7 now we see in the last slide two slides that we see the flat plate and we are finding the Reynolds number uh, so we are finding the Nusselt number for the laminar and for the turbulent flow now if the geometry is changed now there are this is the chart which is given the various geometries and the Nusselt number so if it is a circular pipe and the fluid is gas or liquid and the range of the Reynolds number is given and here the equations of Nusselt number are given. so when it is a circular pipe fluid either it is maybe the gas or it is liquid the range if it is 0 0.4 to 4 then we can choose this is the correlation 
If the Reynolds number between 14,000 to the 4 lakh, then we will choose this equation. Similar, similarly, if it is a square duct, then and the fluid is gas, that time we choose the range between 5,000 to the 1 lakh and the Nusselt, uh, this is the correlation in terms of Nusselt number. Instead of the square, if it is a square tilted at a 45 degree Celsius, 45 degree, then the fluid is gas and the Reynolds number is between this one, we can choose this correlation. So there are the number of correlations depend on what is the geometry of it and accordingly the correlations is changed. But everywhere there is a Nusselt number, Reynolds number and Prandtl number as it is only the constant term they see the constant power on Reynolds number and this one are changed. Now another case if it is hexagon this is the correlation. If it is a hexagon tilted, this is the correlation. If it is a for vertical plate, we choose this equation. If it is ellipse, then we choose this equation. And all these are for the gas system. So these are the correlations for the average Nusselt number for the force condition. Now what happens if the fluid is flow across the tube tank? Now what is that tube tank? When more than two number of tubes are fit in the shale, then we call it is a tube bank. And the flow pattern from the tube bank are different. Now this is the one pattern, the flow pattern for staggered tube banks. Now you see here the, the tubes, these are the tubes. The circular uh, uh, section is showing it is a tube and the fluid is flowing through this, through outside the tube. Okay, the gap between this tube. Now if you want to calculate what is the correlation for this external flow, okay, the fluid is flowing outside this tube and the arrangement of tube is like a, it is a triangular pitch. So if you see the three number of tubes then always it is in a triangular one, equilateral triangle. You see it is center to center distance if you find then it is, you see it is triangular one, okay. And from this one the fluid is flow. Another case, the flow pattern for inline tube bank. Now this is the staggered one and this one is the inline. Inline means one below other. The tube is placed one below other. So what happens? The fluid flow like this straight here and somewhere if it is here then it is more. But here continuously there is a obstacles are the one tube. Okay. Now the case of the first inline and the another case. Now what is the correlation for this? Now to find the, the convective heat transfer for the external flow and the flow is across the tube banks. So we have the chart and from that one we see. So the first case this one staggered and one is the inline one. Let's see. So when it is arrangement is inline one below other then the ranges are given in the second column and the correlations are given in the third column. While for the staggered one, we choose this equation. So if the range of Reynolds number is from 0 to 500, we choose this is the equation. If it is the range between 2 into 10 is for 5, 2 into 2 into 10 is for 6, then we choose this equation, correlation. So depend on the arrangement, we are choosing the correlations. Thank you very much for watching this video.